Welcome to my channel, Playing with Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. I am going to be doing day 29 of the daily scripture writing. So hopefully you can see this really good. Um, I'm trying to get it filmed for today so that you have it at 6 o'clock in the morning. So again, we're going to be doing day 29, Romans 8, 36 through 39. And let's mark it off. Um, so I already have it, you know, written out here, like just the Romans part. Kind of did a boo-boo there, but that's fine. And yeah, so before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give us a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you could share the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. So with that being said, you can find the list in the description below. You will find up in the top corner, I believe this one, or it could be this one, cards that's going to be for the next, um, not next, but the prior scripture writing. Hopefully this camera is not going in and out on you. Um, yeah, so you'll be finding that in the, you know, in the cards on top. The scripture writing, I think it does one of five or something like that. I don't know. All I do is link my playlist and then that's what you should be able to see. And if you don't see it there, I'll probably just put the playlist in the description as well. Besides, you'll see the list of, you know, all the prompts in the description. So with that being said, let's get to reading the Bible. So again, Romans 8, 36 through 39. And if my fan, let me pause the fan real quick because you will hear it. So give me one second. Sorry, just making sure that the fan's not overpowering me as I'm talking. So I'm going to put this to a side, bring the Bible. Here is, that's my chair squeaking, Romans 8, um, verse 36 right here. It says, as it is written, for you sake we face death all day long. Oh, for your sake we face death all day long. I cannot believe I said that. Um, we are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. 37. Where does the 39 end so I know where to look? Okay. So I'm assuming it's this whole whole thing here. Okay. 37. No. In all these things, we are more than conquer conquerors. Through him who loved us. 38. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels or even, nor demons, Neither the present nor the future, nor any powers. In 39, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So with that being said, how's everybody's scripture writing? We are only, how many days left into it? Two. Two more days. I am going to try to get the August one done right away so that we can, well, wrong side, so that we can get that, you know, up and running. What I'm going to do is bring this down a little bit and blow it up a little bit so that way you have a better glimpse of it. If I learned how to write sideways, it would be better. So, yeah, so we're going to try that. This pen here, I forgot to tell you, is just from Family Dollar. It's one of those click pens. Treat them with care. Life is much richer whenever friends are there. So yeah, so it's just one of those click pens. It doesn't have a name to it. But they're a dollar at Family Dollar. And you get them during Mother's Day. You can get them for Valentine's Day, Christmas, all kinds of holidays. So again, how is everybody? And I know I think I asked if you are caught up. If not, I mean, you have your whole life to do it. I mean, I know it sounds like, well, do it when you can. No. I mean, I would love to see you guys have your scripture writing done. But if you can't, you know, life gets in the way. I understand it. But I am reading from Joyce Myers. The 100 Ways to Simplify Your Life. 
And you guys should really think about getting that book. I mean, I am very impressed. And just reading it, journaling about it, writing scriptures down has been a love. I've been in love with that book. The next book I'm going to be reading from her, and I'm already trying to read another book, and I just got, you know, just started reading Joyce Myers on June, uh, July 1st, is You Can't Begin Again. And her books are like so simple reading, so fast, so quick, but you get so much out of these books. I only pay a dollar for it. I'm not advertising it for them. I mean, I don't get anything for it. I wouldn't mind advertising for them at all. You know, not to get anything for it. Maybe just their books. But other than that, I would love to be sponsored by Joyce Myers. Reading her books is inspiring. Just reading the word and the way she writes it makes it a lot easier to read. Um, makes it a lot easier to understand. She breaks it down for you into her words, which makes it easier, obviously. And then, yeah, so I've been journaling it. Loving it. I started a new journal for scripture writing, for reading the Bible within the year, things like that. That has been a lot of fun. I did add a few more things, so I will be filming that probably tomorrow. Um, after I get some things done, I will be doing a lot of filming tomorrow. So I'll be on the lookout for that. It'll be on both channels. Scripture Writing by Honey is the second channel that's about faith. And then the main channel just has everything. Everything, everything, everything. So I've been loving doing that. Um, I just did and posted a um, July, uh, one second, yeah. okay. the July empties and favorites, and wow, did I have a lot this month. Normally, I don't have that many. Like, a lot of things are my favorite, but my favorite favorites, I posted. And what was empty, you know, I showed it and tossed it. I like doing that just so if anybody is interested in an item, they would get an idea of, did that person like it? Was it their favorite? Where they purchase it again? Which I forgot to say that I would purchase the majority of those items. I forgot to say that in the video. But yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Doing the empties and favorites because then you get to see like different items and different things. So now I'm on 39. Do you see the bottom when I'm doing this? Yeah, okay. Hopefully, I wasn't trying to like hog it or anything. Yeah, so how's everybody and how's their family doing? And if there's any prayer you need, you know, I'm here for you. Another two people I've been watching and binge watching is Sheree McGinnis. I love her voice. I love, love her voice. Um, her and Cat Woods. Those two, I watch all the time. I don't know. It's just the way they... Cat Woods is more like the way she breaks things down. She has so many Bibles, and so does Sheree McGinnis. Sheree, I think it's more of her faith towards, I don't know. She's more down to earth, but yeah, she'll tell you little stories. So does Cat Woods and stuff, but yeah, they're both great women. Two different women, but great. They got a great love for the Lord. So I've been, you know, binge watching them too. Besides, um, I always get this wrong. Um, Daughters of Increase, so D O F, I think D O I, Daughters of Increase, I think it is. 
Um, she's really good, too, at Bible studies and things like that. I've been watching her a lot. So if you have any other ones that, you know, you think I would like, leave it in the comment below. I would love to follow, you know, other ladies that are scripture writing and, you know, doing the word. Should I do green and pink? No. How about this with this? No. I know I want to do that one. I think this one. This one says, find joy in the things. So I think that one's super cute. So these two are here. So yeah, so I've been watching a lot of that. I'm going to move this out the way so we can do the washi tape. Uh, which one do I want to go top? I think I'm going to do the hearts top and bottom. And it's directional, so I have to watch what I'm doing here. And yeah, so I've been doing a lot of watching YouTube. I don't really watch TV unless it's Law & Order, SVU, or Chicago PD. Those are my two favorites. Um, other than that, I barely watch TV. Like, or I watch, like, Family Feud. I think that guy's a nut, Steve Harvey. Especially today with the boxers. That was funny. Um, so today is Sunday, the 28th, I want to say. 28th. I'm just taking off the extra washi that just went flying. My camera's doing some weird in and out thing. And then I'm going to close the day off with this beautiful washi. And I'll show it to you right now. And again, this one's directional, so I have to make sure I know what I'm doing here. Let's see if it focuses. I know you would see the shadow of my hand. And it says, find joy in the little things. Which is absolutely true. We do need to find joy in just the little stuff. So this is the daily scripture writing for 29. Let's see if we could set up 30 real quick. I don't think I'm going to put washi down right now. I mean, not washi, dope. We just did that. I don't think I'm going to put stickers down other than, you know, for the day. So let's start that one. And another pen I like is this one. Just a simple black one. So day 30. And I've been so into black pens. I have no idea why. It has just been one of my favorites. So I'm going into the Pen and Gear sticker book found at Walmart for two eighty eight. Oh my god, me and my love for Pen and Gear has been getting bigger. It is getting bigger. I cannot believe the good, good, good products they have. It's like they stepped up. Why am I finding washi all the way over here? Yeah, so it's been, with the move and everything, has been crazy, but it's getting a little better. Um, yeah, this apartment was not worth it either. Uh, nine. So we're going to be doing tomorrow Romans 9, 14 through 18, so that's a nice one. And then I'll just put 14 here. So yeah, with the we're using air conditioners instead of central air, which this place looks like it's been it's so retro. And the price they're asking for this place is very steep. Very, very steep for a three bedroom. And it's got a nice back porch. Decent size one bedroom. The other two are okay. So the master bedroom is a decent size, but I don't know. The struggle is real here. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please pray for me because we definitely need it here. And again, thank you for watching. And I will talk to you in the next video. Be on the lookout for some good videos coming up. Some DIY projects. 
So again, thank you, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.